All right, we're making a list of things that you can use to study for the test, which will be Tuesday, October 6th. So notes, the notes I gave you last week. We had quiz notes that so we took the quiz on Friday. And we had test notes that I gave you last week also, which is the test for tomorrow. And you can also study, or you must study, the Water Cycle Worksheet 3, because that is definitely on the test. Quizlet would be a good way to study. And then look through pages 59 to 80, the comprehension checks and the terms to remember. Read are off those pages. Those are things you could study. All right. Now, let's look at the Water Cycle paper now. So even if you're not finished writing, I want you to stop writing for just a second and we'll get to write again in a minute. All right, so we're going to look first of all at number one. Raise your hand if you can tell me what's going on in number one. Jonathan. The sun's rays go down to the ocean. Mm, I need a little bit better explanation. Yes, the sun's rays are going down to the ocean, but what are they doing? Zeke? Evaporating. No. Owen? The sun is heating the water. Yes, the sun is heating the water. And then, what does it do for number evaporates. two? Evaporates. Yeah, the water evaporates. Number two is showing the water going up, and that is the water evaporating. All right, so number one is the sun is heating the water, right? The sun is heating the water. Number two is showing the water going up into the air, so that's liquid water turning into water vapor. That's evaporation. Liquid water turning into water vapor, that's a, the water evaporating. Now number three is in the air and it's just showing something going up. What is going on there, Olivia? Water vapor pools forming a cloud. No, not number three. Number three, Paige. Okay? 
Water is used in the earth and returns to the ocean. All right, let's do it one more time, everybody. Number one. The sun heats the earth on the earth. Number two. The water evaporates into the air. All right, number three. The warm water vapor rises. If you're not looking, how can you learn it? Number four, the water vapor cools, forming a cloud. Number five, the cloud cools, causing precipitation to fall. And number six, the water is used and returns to the ocean. Used on the earth and returns to the ocean. All right? Make sure you study that. You need to know that for the test. All right, now let's just review different questions. I'm going to blurt it out, and you tell me the answer. The condition of the air. Weather. Which actually is our vocabulary word this time, isn't it? The sun's heat energy changes water into a gas called water, water vapor. vapor. Good. The atmosphere keeping heat from the earth from escaping back into space is called the greenhouse green effect. effect. Greenhouse effect. Beads of frozen rain. Sleet. Sleet. A meteorologist studies the weather. weather. Ice that falls during some thunderstorms. Hail. Hail. Very good. Um, to soak up. A board. A board. To give out. Radiate. Moving air. Wind. Wind. Weight of air. Air pressure. <laughs> air pressure. Sound that follows lightning. Thunder. Thunder. Some of you are not paying attention. Electricity that jumps from one side to another and more from a cloud to the earth. Lightning. Yeah. Windstorm, often called a twister. Tornado. A snornado. <laughs> a tornado, right? Yeah. I think somebody was trying to say storm and then they changed their mind to tornado at the last minute. Moving air. Wind. Um, weather conditions. An area receives over time. Climate. 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 Get up. Pay attention. Um, Windstorms that form over hot land. Tornado. 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 Windstorm that forms over the ocean. Hurricane. Hurricane. Layer of air that surrounds the earth. Atmosphere. Um, these are formed when molecules of water vapor begin to freeze. No. Snowflakes. Snowflakes. Very good. Water changing from water vapor to a liquid. Condensation. Yeah, condensation, like what's happening right there on the floor with this cool water bottle because it has so much ice in it, and then the water vapor in the air is turning back into a liquid, making a puddle on the floor, right? Condensation. The climate area that's always cold. Frigid. 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 Oh, frigid. frigid. Freezing. Frigid. I tried to give you that hint. Freezing and frigid. They both got an FR. Um, name the common storms in the United States. Thunderstorms, hurricanes, tornadoes. Thunderstorm, hurricane, tornado. And guys, you will have to write those out, but you should be able to find those words, tornado, hurricane, and thunderstorm somewhere on your test so that you can spell them correctly. Right, Zeke? Mm -hmm. What are the three ingredients for weather? Wind, water, heat, and water, and heat, water, and wind, wind, water, and heat, heat, water, water, wind, heat. I don't care the order as long as you get them right. They are not the precipitation. Some of you put those as your precipitation the other day. Precipitation is rain, rain snow, snow, sleet, and hail. All right, and then you need to know the water cycle worksheet. All right? Make sure you're ready for that test tomorrow.